Look, it's a giant talking egg. You know, Sonic, I'm not a bad guy. I know that I commit crimes, break laws, and harm others to get what I want. I am not pretending to have the moral high ground. However, I do think it is ironic that someone who believes they are a hero will still resort to insults about my weight. I know that you not respect me, but have you ever considered how your language hurts your friend Sonic? Your friend Big hears the thing you say about me. Do you think that it makes it feel good to hear you repeatedly mock his body type, Sonic? Or do you think it's just too stupid to notice? Do you remember how you ran away from Amy while she just just got in out the scariest moments of her life on Little Planet? Yes, I, it was my fault that happened. But remember, I base Metal Sonic off of you. That includes your personality. Tell me. Did it feel good to upstate Jet in one area where he felt talented? Remember when you abandoned Marina, a child, because she was simply getting on your nerves? Go ahead and call me an egg again, Sonic. I am the greatest genius in the world. Your third grade level insults hardly matter to me. I wonder if your friends can say the same, though. Look, Robotnik, I get it. It's not cool to insult people just based on their weight or other aspects of their life that do not have control over. I would never make fun of Big for his size. He's a great guy and a damn good friend. I would admit that you have some point in regards to how I act. You're right that I can be crude, mean, arrogant, and a bunch of other awful things. Nobody's perfect, I'm not, and you certainly aren't either. Yeah, I get on my friend's nerves sometimes, and sometimes I say things that upset them, but they don't just abandon me after the fact. Do you want to know why? It's because, at the end of the day, I actually work hard to do what's right. Do you think being called an egg is funny? The real joke is that you expect me to sympathize with you after everything you have done to me. The first time we ever met was when I found out you were stuffing my friends into robot suits. Crazy, right? Do you think I was excited to go through all of that? No, I had never done anything like that before in my life. And at the end of all of it, I had to face you, controlling death machines with the sole purpose of killing me. And you know what? I could forgive all of that if it ended there. Maybe after I saved the day, despite all odds, you could turn over a new leaf elsewhere. But no, here we are, fight after fight. After fight, you keep coming back, trying to ruin my life. Sure, I'm not always the most courageous guy. Sometimes I make mistakes, and I don't save everyone. I'm 16, Robotnik. I'm not even old enough to drive a car, much less than save the world from a mad narcissist with an army of robots at his side. So you know what? I'm glad you can take any pride in your old genius. If I were as smart as you, I'd be proud of it too. But don't you dare try to lecture me just because I'm not a flawless paragon of moral goodness. At the end of the day, despite everything, I have still have friends who love and care about me. Flaws and all. Meanwhile, you spend all your time in a laboratory. Working on robots by yourself. Slowly rotting away. I don't care about your feelings, and neither do any of my friends. How many of those animals from Grievous on ever made out of their mortal or presents? I think about that every night, about all the people I couldn't save, and I cry because I, fa I feel like I failed worse than any person should. No matter how many schemes I foil, or however many insults I send your way, you will never, never feel the heartbreak of losing your loved ones like that. Because you never had one to begin with. Now come fight me, Dr. Egg Fuck.